All right, what's going on again, guys? I picked up another rod. I already unboxed it, so I got it all sealed. This is called the uh, Enigma HPT, right there. Um, I think this rod's okay. Feels pretty light. It is uh, on the thicker side than what I'm used to. This is a medium seven foot. Well, anyway, that's what it looks like. It's got some Fuji components, kind of cheap Fuji components. Not, you know, super cheap, but these are the kind of component that I see on um, like a hundred, $150 rods. So this rod here retails for two hundred dollars. Yeah, not sure it's worth two hundred dollars, but it is worth the hundred dollar that I picked it up for. Uh, I picked it up when it was on sale. So oh, medium fast action. Feels really good. This thing feels top heavy. We'll test it out and see how it goes and we'll go from there. But I'm gonna put it on the scale, see how much this rod weighs. Oh, well, it weighs uh, 4.6, which is not that bad actually, it's pretty good. I think one of my St. Croix Legend Extreme, the older one is around 4.4, 4.5. And that's a $430 rod, so $430, $460. Well, let's take this up. Wait a minute. I'm going to take this tag out. Ooh, that thing weighs 4.3. Yeah, I forgot that there's a tag on a bunch of paper weight on there so I took the paper I'm holding the paper now so it's 4.3 actually pretty damn light so I'm thinking this rod here is worth every penny you know for a hundred dollars not sure about the 200 though because uh, at 200 dollars I think um, you can pick up the uh, the Zodius for about 180 and I think the Zodius so far is one of my favorite rod at $200 point. But other than that, I'm going to give this guy about four to six months uh, on the water and um, tell you guys, you know, how it performs. And then um, we'll go from there. All right, guys, if you like this kind of video, check out my other video and my other reviews. And subscribe if you want. Other than that, I'll see you guys on the other side of the lake. Fish foot out.